fuck, I forgot to put my lesson down. <laughs> How's it going, my friends? My name is Rushmon, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. It's been like an hour and a half since I last recorded this, and a lot of you are aware of what happened last time. And honestly, that was honestly fucking depressing. I couldn't focus on anything after that, like I just, I wanted to be done recording, but I just wanted to get this off my chest. I feel terrible for deleting her. I wish I copied the file, put her in a new file, and placed that copy in another file, and then deleted her, but the damage is, the damage is done. So. Don't switch a long video. Please enter your name. Fuck okay, I know I'm playing as a guy. It's an ordinary school day, like another, like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and f and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Hey, Rashomon. Well, there's already. Well. There's already, there already is one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor, a good friend since we were ch children. We used to walk to school together every day. And recently, we picked up a habit of habit once again. Rashmon, are you proud of me? Uh, for what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Huh? But you never you uh, you even said uh, any, you you never said anything about it. Even though we walked to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought it was Im implied. It's embarrassing to say it aloud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> we crossed the street together and make our way to school. As we drew near, the street became increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Rachamon, have you decided on what club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not, I'm really not. I start to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining a, any clubs. But something tells me Sayori would, would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste, are a waste of time? We, she... When she started a club, I cannot fucking read now. When she started a club, a club of her very own. I was wondering how I was going to treat that. Actually, yeah. I think I decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I think I'll keep it a secret. A surprise. Boo. You meanie. Be patient. You'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that, in a way, I envy her. When Sari puts her mind to something, 
she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. The school day is ordinary, ordinary as ever, and it's, and it's over before I know, know it. After I pick up my things, I, I stand up, gathering my material, uh, my gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the numbers of the club club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Retromon! What are you doing here? Well, I just... Uh, I glance around the room. Huh. So you're the Retromon that series always, talk, always talking about. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Retromon. We're for the literature club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so f formal. He's going to think we're real and strict in some or something. Uh, sorry, Nasuki. The tall one was named. Named in a. The tall one's name is apparently Yuri. Seems to be quite shy compared to the other. To, uh, compared to the others, I can read today. In comparison, the girl named Nasuki, despite her size, seemed like a assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Working. Rashvan, don't tell me. You're... That's right. But what I've decided to join is your Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light, light up. No way. No way! Ah! <laughs> Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey. Uh... <laughs> Well, if Sayori is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention that there's four of us now. That means we can become an official, recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. <laughs> what did it appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah! After all, Nozuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. Uh, sorry. K tea? Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make, a make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged, arranged to form a table. Nasuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of a room, where Nasuki grabs a wrapped tray, and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Nasuki proudly marches back to a table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Oh. Nosuki lifts the foil, foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate 
were used to make eyes. So cute! Wow, those are amazing. Eh, uh, well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sherry so grabs one, one first, then I follow. It's delicious! Sherry so talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing all over her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Asuki is quite... I can't help but notice her sneaking glances at m in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is real good. Thank you, Nasuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me for thank me or anything. As Nasuki struggles to accept a compliment, Yui t turns to the table carrying a tea tray. Tea set. Fuck me. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before sitting down, sitting down with a teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole, you keep a whole tea set in the classroom, in this classroom. Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Already trying to impress a new member, Yuri. Eh, that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I mean, that's. you know. I believe you. Well, tea and re might not be my pastime for me not be a pastime for me but at least and but at least enjoy but but at least I enjoy tea I'm glad Yuri finally smiles to herself in, in relief so Rushman what kind of things do you like to read well uh, considering how little I, I've read the past few years I don't really have a good way to answer that, that manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Nasuki's head suddenly jerks up. It looks like she wasn't wanted to say something, but she kept quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke about thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of a teacup with her finger. My favorite is usually novels that build deep and deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story is such a fo foreign world. Telling such a good story in a foreign world is equally impressive. Here he goes on, cl cl clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed so res reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it, obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much too, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri. Eh? Well, about, you know, 
first thing you, he said, manga? That's right. Natsuki, Natsuki tends to read manga in the club. Don't say it. For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know? So, if Retroman wants to read some of, of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Huh. Natsuki. I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to do this. Diverse, di uh, diverse, uh, I can fucking read. Diversify ourselves and uh, diversify ourselves a little. He can take his opportunities and, and try something new as well. Would you agree, Retromon? Maybe. Sense the tension, Sayori jumped. Sensing the, the tension, Sayori jumped in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we'll get, and we'll get to know each other, know each other a little bit better too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? Um, I don't disagree or anything. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. As usual, President. <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it. If it, I'm not the only one. Then as, then as for you, Yuri. Eh. I have to read manga? <laughs> Jeez. You were the one who suggested we diversif... Diversif... We, we... Ah, fuck. We diversify... You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I... Don't re I didn't realize. With a giggle. With a guilty expression. Yuri... Thinks to herself. I'm sorry for... Dis disrespecting your... Interest, Nasuki. If if you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? Yes. <laughs> I've realized my error. So, if you're willing to consider starting an, a novel, then. I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read or s as well. Really? I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. I can trust you can trust me to find something that you'll really like. Okay. Same here. Perhaps I'll v visit a bookstore after the club meeting. Just... Just you? Uh... Would you like to come along with me? Um... If you don't mind... Not at all! I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute! Sayori, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that. I'll show you some. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes, I look forward to it. 
Esuki and Yuri start to clean up for food. <laughs> I guess the meeting is over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone get along, isn't it? Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Retromon. Think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better when you're around, Sayori. Ah, Retromon. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're putting it off just fine. Point off just fine. We're gonna make it, make it the best club ever. Now that you join, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Sayori. I really want to thank you. I mean, I I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is. I already know you are going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I want to thank you for getting rid of Monica. You're welcome. I regret it, but you're welcome. That's right. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I have a president now. Fuck. But I really know everything, Retromon. <laughs> I know how hard you try to make everyone happy. I know about all of the awful things that Monica did to make everyone real sad. But. None of that matters anymore. It's just us now. Fuck. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day with like this. With you. Forever and ever. Or ever. No. What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It hurts. Ah. I'm sorry. I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Rachelon. Goodbye, Literature Club. Fucking hell! I heard you. Uh, can you hear me? <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff. Monica? And not really any good at it yet, like at all. But I wrote you a song. I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I work really, really hard on it. So, yeah. Yeah, I do.
that special day. Oh, is that it? I increased the audio so you guys can hear the song better. images when I can't even read my own feelings what good are words when a smile says it all and it is the game deleting itself or is it just deleting the images What the hell is going on there? Thank you. Does my pen only write better words for those who are dear to me? Is it wrong if I take your is it love if I set you free? I don't know why I'm crying. <laughs> that was surprisingly sad. This is my final goodbye to the literature club. I finally understand. The literature club, it's truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continues to exist. Innocent minds to... Oh, horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo the same hellish epiphany. For all the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all my dreams come true. For being a friend to to all of the club members. And most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Air script file is missing or corrupted. Please reinstall the game. I don't know why that ending is sad. <sighs> ah, game crashed. I don't know why it's so sad. <laughs> but in the end, Monica did do the right thing. Bye.